everyone, it's Rena, and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to talk about how to create eyes or as they are also known as irises. Um, so I'm just going to go through a step-by-step -step process of how I usually create my models. Um, and then I will show you how to, a simple form of doing it all in Vroid without having to get a secondary software like uh, Photoshop or GIMP or whatever. So let's get to it. <laughs> yeah, boy. Okay, so this is a step-by-step -step how I make it in GIMP. So I usually take the base model of the eyes and then put it into GIMP, which is like another form of like Photoshop. Um, I'm just broke, so <laughs> we're not gonna buy Photoshop. We're gonna use GIMP because GIMP is free. Um, and then I color over the base with a color of my choice. So for instance, I'm gonna go over it with a dark brown. So I take this dark brown color and I color in the whole thing. I kind of kept this part here where the pupils are just as an idea of where I should be placing the pupils back in. So it makes my life a little bit easier. And then I just went over that with a lighter color and that's where I actually color in that area. I still have like a tiny idea of where the um, pupils are so you can see up there it's kind of like right up there um, but yeah basically I color in that little tiny section uh, with a brighter brownish orangey color just as a highlight within the eyes and then you're gonna fill in your pupils so like I said I have that an idea of where it was before so I just kind of kept the same shape and then you put in a lighter um, hue color for the base part and then just blur it out just so that way it just kind of blends better and then you can finish off with adding like little light flares within the eyes and that makes the eyes really pop. So we're going to try to recreate something similar to that same structure but all in Vroid. So let's try that now. So let's change the eyes. Kind of like I said before, we're going to work with mirroring. So we're going to select a nice dark brown. Increase that brush size to almost the same size of the iris itself, just to save yourself some time. Um, make sure you're in a new layer. So what I mean by that is over here, make sure you're in a new layer and not on the default one. So that way, if anything goes wrong, you can easily change that without fretting basically. You're gonna go with a brush size that is about 220, 220, 219, whatever one is close. And you're just gonna fill in, oh, we're gonna use the solid one, whoops, my bad. You're gonna select the color, you're gonna fill in the eyes. I kind of like how it looks like that, to be honest. He has like little puppy dog eyes. Oh, so cute. If you love that, you can stop there. But <laughs> um, we're gonna keep going. I'm just clicking multiple times just to kind of get it to fill however I want it. All right, all right. We have some brown eyes. Next, we are going to fill that in with, let's go down our list here. <clears throat> this lighter brown highlight in the middle. So we're just gonna select a lighter color and take your fader brush shape, make the brush size a bit smaller, somewhere around hundreds, usually pretty good. Kinda create like a U shape that's a little bit wider. How far down you go, um, I would say usually to, I don't know if you can see that, that little line here, I'm just gonna, usually about to there, it's usually how low I would go for that. And then kind of create that line going up and cutting across. You could either, for this one, you can either mirror it but I find it actually looks better if you don't mirror and keep them going in the same direction. So I usually turn off mirroring, going up, coming around in that shape here. So it's the same 
I'm just going to do this really quickly just so you can kind of get an idea of what that would look like. Cool, great, awesome. Next we are going to go into adding the pupil. So you're gonna go back down the brush signs, find a color that you like for a pupil. I'm just gonna take a darker color. I'm gonna go into the solid brush this time. I'm gonna decrease the opacity. blend a little bit more you can always work in multiple layers too if you want to if you choose to right now his eyes looking a little crazy so you want to try to be as symmetrical as possible for this one you pr uh, I want to say you can do mirroring but the only thing is because it's mirroring you have this side that goes up high here it's going to reciprocate that but on the opposite side so he's gonna look he's like he's cross-eyed so that's why I don't really want to do mirroring you just try your best to try to make it get to the same height and structure as the other side. Here, let's try this. Let's put it on mirroring. We're just going to do the base of the, so it's at the same height there. And then we're going to turn off mirroring and then pull up. All right, these little beady eyes. Cool. Next is adding that little dusting of a shine to the base of that eye. So we're going to go into a very pale brown. We're going to decrease the opacity, pick the fader brush, decrease the sizing, make sure you're not on mirroring, and we're just going to go like so. Actually, we can increase the size just a tiny bit. Probably about like 80, because. Wanna make it a little easier for ourselves. Did I do it in two different angles? Oh, this one you probably could have put on mirroring. Oh well, whatever. Cool. And then. So now he has so much depth and colors in his eyes. <laughs> Always blend. And then we're gonna add our little eye highlights. So I usually, yeah, as you can see for these ones, I kind of just kept like in threes or twos and then kind of like little white lines. So we're gonna add the white highlights to the eyes. So I usually do it in threes or twos. You can change the brush size and the opacity just to um, play around with the effect. So you don't really have to change the actual opacity here. It's just the longer you hold on to the brush, the darker it will get in terms of pigment. like a far away look okay so now let's add in the little white tickets this is gonna be like the harder part but I would suggest doing this in another layer just because you can really mess this part up <laughs> it's really annoying like that How about we change the opacity for this one? <laughs> Play it smart here. Great. And then we're just gonna blur that out. Cool. Now we have irises. That's one way of doing them. Obviously with this little light flare that they have here, you can turn that off. So if you just wanna have your own irises there. So that's one method of doing eyes. Next one would be, I'm just 
just going to create in a whole new layer. <clears throat> We're just going to do a dark brown kind of dark brown moment back into the draw. I say brush size of 120. Okay, cool. Great. We're going to do a half moon kind of look to it. So we're going to still pick that like lighter brown color. Make the brush size a little bit smaller. Take the shader brush. Cool. Got that. We're going to blend the outer components. Like that middle section here. And for some people, this is kind of where they would want their eyes to just stay at. So it's just kind of simple. You have a brown with like a little bit of a highlight. If you really want, you can add like a tiny bit of a, you don't want it to be completely black, but a darker brown in the center, maybe decrease the opacity. Maybe leave it like that for some people. And then for some, they like that. They can also add in a part here that kind of lines it up at the top. And then play around with the opacity and turn off mirroring so you can change each eye to be looking where you want it to. And I find this is one like the easiest ways to do eyes. Cool. It has depth. And there you go, you have eyes. Wow! And then that will still work with this eye iris thing. Be honest i think that was probably the easiest way to do eyes there you go and that's the simplest form so we're gonna start stop with that um because i'm trying to keep it as simple as possible i think that's probably the easiest way you can do eyes just pick a base color pick a lighter color for the bottom part and then pick your pupil color so if you're doing the same thing with like purple eyes so you're gonna pick like a base purple color that you like um, look for a dark purple for like the iris so you want it to be darker than the base and then you want a like pale um, lighter color do the same thing with blue or whatever um, and that's pretty much it all right so that is it for eye creation so if this video has helped you at all leave a like and possibly a comment let me know if this series has helped you at all and we will see you in the next one okay bye everyone